Hey guys, welcome back to Fancy Nancy Eats. Today we have one of the our family's favorite recipes and it is a... It is a pasta. It is called, well, this is what I call yeah. it, a chicken chipotle pasta. So we've been doing this forever. It's pretty much a chicken alfredo, but we add chipotle to it and we're gonna actually make it from scratch. So these are our ingredients. So we've got four cups of heavy cream. We've got two tablespoons of garlic one quarter of onion we've got our chipotle peppers we've got our one cup of parmesan cheese one tablespoon of north suiza and one tablespoon of pepper and we've also got our pasta we're going to be using linguine we've got our water boiling mm -hmm. and we've got our chicken ready in the back yeah so i will say that the chipotle you can find this really anywhere we buy ours at walmart mm -hmm. but i guess it just depends on the area where you live but I'm sure you can order it online if you don't have it. But this is what we use. And it is, it can be spicy, very spicy. So you might want to start with one and then gradually add depending on how spicy you like it. If you don't like it very spicy, then it might not be a recipe for you. But I can assure you it's really good. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and put our pasta to boil. So we're going to put our pasta to cook. You can add a little bit of oil if you want. So it won't stick and maybe a dash of salt. I'll leave it in there from eight to 10 minutes until it's cooked. Our pasta is ready. Now we're just gonna drain it. Time to drain. Make sure you get all your water out. Good to go. Okay, so we're gonna start our sauce. We're gonna add We've got four tablespoons of butter. Let that melt a little bit. All right, so they have simmered in here for just a little bit. We do have our fire on medium low. Now we're gonna add our garlic. It smells so good. Mm, I love garlic. So they're starting to brown just a tiny, tiny bit. Now we're gonna add our heavy cream in here. We do have four cups, by the way. Looking good already. Remember our heat is still on medium low. We don't want it to be very high because this will start boiling and I don't want it to come to a boil yet. Okay, so my next ingredient is my pepper and my chicken bouillon. Kind of mix it in there. And we can go ahead while we're mixing it in there is putting our Parmesan cheese, again, pre-measured, one cup. So this is the kind of cheese we're using. You can use any of the, your Parmesan cheeses you want, but this is one of my favorites. And by the way, I do like it cheesy. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. This is gonna be about maybe a quarter of a cup more. By the way, this is optional. You do not have to add more if you don't want. Again, optional, but I like cheese. As you can tell, our sauce is almost ready. It's thickening up a little bit, not too much. You can see the cheesiness there. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, yum. All right, so our last ingredient is gonna be our chipotle sauce. We did get the chipotle salsa. Only difference is we are not blending it. Um, but this is already blended, okay? We're only gonna be adding half of this because we don't want it to be too spicy for those who do not like it spicy. Keep mixing and taste it to your taste. If you want it a little bit more spicier, you can go ahead and add a little bit more sauce. So I've tasted it and I do like it a little bit more spicier, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the remainder of my chipotle salsa. So all I wanted to do is to get the steam coming up. I do not want it to boil. Again, I don't want it to kind of cut itself. So it is ready, turning it off and get, just waiting for our chicken. Okay, I'm using my iron skillet. I've buttered it a little bit and I've seasoned my chicken with salt and pepper only. And all I'm gonna do is put it on there to cook.
So we are putting our chicken four minutes on each side. A few more minutes and it should be ready to turn. Okay, now that our chicken is ready, we're gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. And this is a nice grill that we got on it. All right, so this is ready for us to put our pasta in there so we can mix it up. Look how beautiful our chicken is. So it's time to put our chicken on top. You can put as much chicken as you want or as little chicken as you want. Don't forget to finish it off with a little bit of cheese on top. All right, so it's taste time. And what do you want? More cheese. Of course. <laughs> All right, look at that. Yes. I was blamed on TikTok for not putting enough cheese, so That's here's right. some more cheese. <laughs> <laughs> more cheese. Right. I will start with Erica. <laughs> she does, always. All right. Mmm. It's really good. Spicy? Mm-hmm. Not not too spicy. It just mm -hmm. has a kick. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm gonna try some chicken. My this chicken. is so good. Mm -hmm. I haven't ate it in such a long time. I know. I feel like we used to make mm -hmm. it for parties all the time back mm -hmm. then. And you could serve this with the with the salad and then some mm -hmm. garlic bread. Mm. My family loves this. Mm -hmm. Loves it. Mm. So good. Mm-hmm. If you want it even spicier, you can add some crushed red peppers, which I personally will because I like it spicy. So it's to me, it's perfect, and I like spicy too. So I might go for it. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's optional. This or you so could have good. added more chipotle sauce to it as well. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's so amazing. Y'all got to try this. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. This is another episode from Na Fancy Nancy Eats. What other recipes would you like us to try? Don't forget to comment them down below. And <laughs> hey guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to tell us where you're from. And to all my TikTokers, don't forget y'all have my heart. I love y'all. If you're from TikTok, say hi down below. And uh, if y'all want more recipes that are more consistent, I try to upload there a lot more frequently. So anyways, guys, until next time. And thank you for watching from Fancy Nancy Eats. Bye-bye. Cállate. <laughs> bueno, mi amor. Hey guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to tell us where you're from. Yeah, tell us where you're watching. I, I see a lot of people. Cuando tu cuñado se porta mal, dale unos regalazos con la cuchara. Dale una nalgada. Qué bonito corte de pelo tienes. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't you see? He's pulling his nasty little hairs from the sky. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is another recipe from Fancy Nancy Eats. I think he's mocking me. Te puedes callar? Please. I love you. No beso. Okay, go.